Hey everybody, Xander Demas here. I am your mission specialist uh, here for Mission Engineering today and I'm going to be talking to you uh, in somewhat detail about these awesome new Gemini cabinets that they've just released. <laughs> some of the sounds and I picked the um, my Sir Modern for this because this guitar actually has a lot of different uh, tones and sounds available uh, coil tapping with the blower switch and five way with three pickups I have it on a clean setting here and, uh, and keep in mind that I am using the axe effects as I mentioned before um, this these cabinets can be used with virtually any of the, uh, the modelers out there from line six to Kemper to the 11 rack and, and the Axe FX seems to be a very popular one. Um, so this is the Axe FX 2. Uh, this is my clean channel and it's based on a uh, Roland Jazz Chorus uh, 120, the JC 120. Uh, so just, you know, some of the sounds that you, you, can, you can get off. This is just to really show you like the versatility of the cabinets. Right now the Empower switch is turned up about um, almost, I'd say about 75%. And uh, we're pushing about maybe 75% of the power on the cabs as well here. Um, but uh, notes are very sharp. They ring out very well. And uh, this is on the uh, second position here. So I believe we're actually using these two coils on the, on the guitar. Uh, really is an overall nice uh, nice tone uh, incredible representation of the tone um, switching positions here I'm just going to randomly pick some and play some chords <laughs> that's like in the middle here um, you're just getting the middle pickup on this if you if, I were, if I'm to pull this up here uh, for coil tapping <laughs> thins it out even a little bit more. This is actually one of my favorite sounds and it sounds incredible on here. This is just basically the cream color of this pickup here. Um, I believe I have this wired for. <laughs> tone um, but we're talking about the cabinets here the if the representation is uh, is anything indicative of how good this sounds um, these cabinets really bring the something like the axe effects to life and this is uh, what I call my dirty channel <laughs> sounds now that is based on a uh, Marshall Plexi uh, so like a 70s style Plexi with just a little bit of gain turned up um, again I have not touched the any anything on the back here simply going an input one on both of them um, doing something with a little bit more attitude um, <laughs> Yeah, 
again, just uh, unbelievably uh, tight and very bright sounding. And again, you can shape that tone with the Empower uh, knob on the back. <laughs> This is, uh, again, this is the GM1. Uh, this is the Mission Gemini uh, cabinet, and this thing has got all kinds of flexibility. You can kind of see how cool this thing is all built. Um, but we're going to zoom in on this middle section here and kind of uh, describe what these controls do. Uh, the first one is a level control. Now, a level control, as you can imagine, is nothing more than a volume control. This is going to control the internal volume of the, uh, of the amplifier that we have here. Uh, again, 110 watts into 8 ohms, plenty of power, again, for small clubs, uh, even medium-sized venues, but outstanding for recording and rehearsing, you can't beat it. Um, but anyway, you have a, um, you know, rotate counterclockwise to reduce the level, clockwise to increase the level. Uh, this right here is called the Empower uh, knob. And what, what, if you could see here, uh, there is what it says, cab and flat. Now, in the directions up here, Gemini talks about uh, having this, uh, this knob here to have either a flat response or more like a cap. <laughs> the Empower is going to just uh, vary the, uh, the mids and the highs. Uh, for the for the speakers and that will give you uh, pretty much a nice rounded tone that you might be looking for again depends on your gear <laughs> uh, input one now these are these uh, these inputs as you can see here now these shipped with these uh, stoppers in there already um, but input one for example uh, is this is it'll accept an XLR or a quarter inch uh, input, and this is basically coming out of the in, the uh, output of my uh, XFX into here, and uh, here's a, here's a really cool feature on this too. If you're using TRS cables, the TRS cables will sense that uh, you can go either stereo out or however you want to, uh, however however you intend on using these cabs. Uh, you can either in this case have two inputs go uh, one left and right and just have it sit uh, input one, input one on each one of these or go TRS into here, into input one, stereo out, I believe into input two in the other cabinet and, and it'll actually give you true stereo. <laughs> directly um, along with uh, something else coming into input one and the USB going out to your uh, DAW. Uh, you can uh, play along with recorded music. Uh, so then uh, mission engineering putting uh, the USB uh, jack on here is pretty big deal. It's going to, I think, revolutionize uh, the way that people record and, um, you know, whether you're a bedroom guitar player or a rehearsal session guitar player, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this uh, this cabinet definitely has the flexibility to do, to do a lot of great things. And uh, this little mini stack here makes for a perfect uh, 
re rehearsal slash recording rig as well as you know a small club or even medium-sized venue because the power that these things pack is uh, is pretty good and it, they're plenty loud um, as you can see on some of the uh, songs that I was already playing on uh, I've only had the volume on the axe effects not even like around 8 30 9 o'clock if you want to consider it that way uh, if I turn it up anymore it's really going to push these things pretty hard and no they will not distort there's plenty of headroom and that's of course the most important thing this rack is kind of cool in that it has uh, it's a four space rack underneath uh, this right here are two more spaces as you know the X effects uh, takes up two spaces and um, if you pull this off here uh, you unscrew it from the back and it exposes two more rack spaces hope you guys enjoyed the demo uh, please see mission engineering on the web at missionengineering.com they are a friendly group of people I've uh, dealt with them for a couple of years now and uh, as most guitar players know, they, they are makers of the finest expression pedals out there. Uh, I myself have a whole little army of them. And, uh, you know, between the EP1, and the SP1, everything like that, they make a great product. Uh, and marrying the emission uh, system to something like the Fractal Audio or the 11 Rack or anything like that is really a perfect match. And, uh, again, this, uh, this system should revolutionize the way... Uh, guitar players view guitar playing in the future and in the present, of course. Uh, again, uh, thank you for watching. This is Xander Demas signing off.